How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It is week 6 of 2023 and this week we're going to be discussing everything that's happened in the Forza Horizon 5 world lately along with discussing the next update that's coming to Horizon 5 as we can actually figure out quite a bit about what we're going to get. If you enjoy these informational videos guys make sure to subscribe we do this all the time. Let's jump into it. So oh meow meow can I record in peace please? What? I suppose I best let the cat out. So over in the Twitter world of Forza Horizon, there's not really been any updates this week, other than the official Forza Horizon page giving away more things. It's quite common over on the Forza Horizon Twitter page for them to give away codes for special in-game items. So if you don't want to miss any chances to get any of these codes, go and follow Forza Horizon on Twitter as they do it all the time. As you can see this week they gave away a bunch of Oreo codes for the Pigani Zonda Oreo edition which is a little bit different to the standard Pigani Zonda. So yeah if you want any chances of winning any of these codes and getting any of them go and follow them on Twitter. We've had one update from Forza Support about Drift Zone scores being reset before January the 14th 2022. They mentioned that in Series 2, which is well over a year ago, they adjusted how Drift's Drift Zone scores worked and were calculated, which meant that anybody that meant that anybody who did a Drift Zone before that update had a higher score than was actually possible. So they are in the process of deleting all Drift scores before that update, which, which means that all of the Drift Zone leaderboards will now be a little bit more legitimate and won't be full of scores that are no longer obtainable. But for the main topic of today's video, we're going to talk about Series 18, which is the next update that's coming. If we have a look at the splash screen of the current festival playlist, we can see coming soon it says Horizon Wilds Takeover, um, stunt park, collectible, new cars and new decorations. Now there's not much information here, but I actually can probably figure out quite a few things that are probably going to happen in this update when comparing it to last year's update. So Series 18 is Horizon Wilds Takeover. Well last year, on the very same month, we had Horizon Rush Takeover. And what did that update have in it? Well, it had the stunt park, it had new cars, it had lots of new PR stunts, and it had a world makeover over at the Horizon Rush Festival. All of the festivals have names, Apex, Wilds, Baja, Rush, and Street Scene. Now, last year we had the Horizon Rush Takeover, and it focused a lot on the Horizon Rush Outpost. Now, if it's anything similar to that, Horizon Wilds Takeover is going to focus a lot on the Wilds Outpost. And if we look at this screen here, we can see that the Horizon Wilds Outpost is all to do with dirt racing. Now, if we have a look at what we actually got last year, we will see that the Horizon Rush Outpost got a bit of a makeover. And as I said, the Horizon Rush Outpost focuses on PR stunts. That's the whole point of it. And what new things did we get in that update? We got a bunch of new PR stunts. So because Horizon Wilds Takeover is probably going to focus on the Wilds Outpost, it's maybe a possibility that we're going to get some new dirt races. That's if they follow the same path as they did last year. If they're focusing on Horizon Wilds, I don't see why we wouldn't get more dirt racing. Now, if I'm going to guess the theme of this update, it will be that it focuses on dirt racing because that's the whole point of the theme name. So new dirt races is certainly a possibility for Series 18. We can also make a pretty good guess that the Horizon Wilds Outpost will have some kind of makeover, just like the Horizon Rush one did last year. Now, what else came in the update last year for Horizon Rush that might come for Horizon Wilds? The main event was the Stunt Park. Now, if we have a look at the Stunt Park from last year, it's a very generic Stunt Park. It was very cool. But what I think is possible this year is a dirt racing Stunt Park. It has been confirmed that the stunt park is not going to be the same as last year. It's going to be a bit different. And I think it will be different because they are focusing on Horizon Wilds this month. Meaning that maybe it will be a dirt stunt park to, to line up with the dirt sort of theme that Horizon Wilds is. Whether this means that it will just be a, a dirt stadium with a couple of the dirt ramps on it. Sort of like rallycross type jumps, you know what I mean? I feel like that would fit the theme perfectly and it would certainly be something different that we've not had yet. 
it could be that or it could just be a generic stakes stunt park that's just a little bit different to last year now as for cars what cars could be coming well last year it was all about stunts and pr stunts and stuff like that the cars that came last year weren't really tied up with stunts they were kind of unrelated now it's probably safe to presume that maybe the same will happen this month just because it's a dirt racing update and it's focusing on horizon wilds doesn't mean that we will just get rally cars and dirt racing cars and stuff like that uh, we could get absolutely anything it would make sense to get dirt racing cars but they don't usually go that far into detail so all we can do with the new cars is go to the leaked car list and have a look uh, what's on there what's left in black to come to the game all of them are just possible candidates for what's coming if it's a dirt racing car maybe it's a little bit more likely to come i don't know we do have a little bit of information about some of the rewards because you may remember in some of our last videos i mentioned that series 18 is going to have a ken blog ken blog who can blog ken block tribute as he sadly passed away last month as i'm sure you're aware so playing Gun games have come out and said that the update series 18 which is horizon wilds takeover will have a tribute content for ken block which will include a special player badge featuring 43 so his number 43 as some kind of player badge ken block inspired accolades so i'm sure this will be hooning around in hoonigan cars doing tricks Hoonigan Cars featured in festival playlist events, a new Forza Link chat phrase that says go fast, risk everything, and a seasonal championship with the returning 2016 Hoonigan Gymkhana 9 Ford Focus RS RX reward car. That car will be returning within a seasonal championship. Those things are confirmed. None of those are new features apart from the Forza Link, the player badge, and the accolades. Now, speaking of accolades, last year we had exclusive accolades for the stunt park where it would, it would be get from A to B and do this in such amount of time. These accolades will no longer work with an updated stunt park. So it's probably safe to say we're going to get a new batch of accolades for the new stunt park that we're going to get as well. So make sure you get on that or you'll miss out the chance to ever do those accolades ever again. So for Series 18, we know we're getting all the Ken Block stuff, a new stunt park, possibly dirt racing related. Horizon Wilds Outpost is going to have a bit of a makeover. There's a few things we can figure out about it, but let me know in the comment section below what you're hoping for in this Wilds Takeover themed update. Now, before we end, I'm giving you one quick reminder to go and use the Forza Suggestions Hub. I'm going to mention this in a lot of videos because it is so important. The Suggestions Hub is where Playground Games developers go to pick what to put into the game based off what we suggest don't comment it on any of their youtube videos don't tweet at them use the suggestions hub it's where they want us to suggest things so if you want something in the game if you want to vote for something go and use the suggestions hub that's it for today guys make sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed and i will see you all later